Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to our playthrough of Thinking with Time Machine, a brand new portal mod on our Portal Master Quest series. Um, hopefully this playthrough will be a little bit more upbeat than our previous one of Aperture Tag. Um, I don't know, I kind of, because Aperture Tag is not one of my favoritist mods, I kind of feel like I tackled that quite half-heartedly so i apologize to anybody who thought like the commentary or the gameplay was a bit there in that one um i do like the concept of thinking with time machine though so um hopefully we will get um quite a bit better um commentary and video on this one so um i have heard of chromium edge yes it is microsoft edge's new uh web browser which is using uh which is pretty much a reskin chrome so um yeah i'm not gonna go through pain I don't think I'm going to go through pain. I quite like Time Machine. Um, there are some things that I will talk about um, throughout the mod. Some like preferences and things. You ever heard of Chromium Cochlear? Welcome along, by the way. Yeah, it's uh, Microsoft Edge, but it's basically a reskinned Google Chrome. So. Because generally Microsoft browsers suck. That's probably why I can't come. <laughs> Ow, my ears hurt. Ow, my ears hurt. Cave Johnson here, working on the time time machine. What you were saying, Caroline? Borealis disappeared? How is that possible? Well, never mind. What was I supposed to say? <laughs> Pretty much, Conclan, yeah. Pretty much. Alright, so let's get on the way here. I've already rebound my mouse wheel uh, tonight, so hopefully everything will be tickety-boo in that respect. And, um, yeah. Because Microsoft, they, have, they, they can't use a Google product. That would just be terrible. How could they? How could they? Opera GX, man. I've not used Opera since I was like. You know, a lot of Microsoft things are going open source, though, Aaron. Um, if I'm right in saying, didn't Microsoft buy um, or take the rights for Linux? Which is why we now have like things like .NET, um, .NET Core instead of. Um, yeah, .NET Core and sort of like .NET Standard and stuff. We now have like a lot of Microsoft tools that are open source because of that very reason. So, yes. Yes, Microsoft are definitely going down a more open source routing um, this day and age. All right, so I've got to remember, R is to record. Um, we stop. Q stops. Oh, no. I don't remember my controls here. R is to do that. What was it to play back? Oh, okay, that was F. It's F. Yeah, my wife did, my, my wife had a go at it at the weekend. I don't go out anywhere. So I said, yeah, you want to give it a go? Give it a go. And uh, it didn't turn out too bad. So, uh, yeah. Oh, good. All right, so we crouch here. We do this. I don't remember if I need to jump. I always tend to jump when I do this sort of thing. How can I not? I'm stuck on signage. Good show. Good show. I was stuck on the... Um, I was stuck on the uh, exit indicator there. Yeah, so there are a few things I'll, I'll talk about about the mod uh, while we're, we're playing through. You know, I do have some thoughts about... I do think it, overall it is a better mod than um, Thinking With Time... Uh, I think that's what I'm playing, Thinking With Time Machine. What am I talking about? It's a better mod, I feel, than... Um, uh, after tag for sure. Um, there are some like weird bits and pieces though. 
Um, okay, so I gotta record all this, haven't I? That's right. Do you know what? I actually thought that I didn't realize it was a laser field for Star Conklin. I actually thought it was. Um, I actually thought it was like the cube dropper for some reason. I don't know why. Just right on here. And then we press F. And let uh, Virtual Chell do all the work. Yeah, the cube the cube assemblers are great. They're, they did a really good job with those in this mod, definitely. But yeah, like I said, definitely, I, I definitely like tag a lot. Uh, this a lot more than tag. Um, I do feel, however, they could have done so much more with the story. They really could have done so much more with the story in this one. Um... Which is a bit of a shame. I just think we just do that and that, don't we? From what I remember, the story doesn't really make that much sense. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta. That's right. It resets all portals. That's right. You got stuck on one puzzle thinking you was about halfway through. Turns out it was the last puzzle. Yeah, it's rather short as well from what I remember, which is another kind of downside to the whole um, mod. It could have been executed and they could have done so much more with it. But, you know, that's why you have to be kind of grateful for things like community chambers, though. Because uh, community chambers are great to allow us to obviously extend what we want to do. And there has been quite a few fantastic community chambers for after. Uh, I'm getting these two mods mixed up for thinking with Time Machine. We're not playing after Tag anymore. Definitely not. Okay, you got to be careful, I think, if I remember right, you got to be careful with this mod, um, because, from what I remember, it is prone to crashing, because of the macro system that it uses. Um, so that opens that, that possibly takes us back. Uh, or not, maybe we just go to the exit. Yeah, it has major problems with crashing. Um, I tend to compare the... Uh, I tend to compare like the macro system in this to the one in Talos. Also, the chamber signs don't seem to work. That's where the Borealis comes crashing through, isn't it? What is even that? I mean, look at the state of that. And look at the state of these. What, what? What is this? It's like they've taken the texture and shrunk it down. They've changed the scaling on the texture on the side here. That looks hideous. I know this is probably all going to get destroyed in a moment when the Borealis comes sailing through here, but even still, that is hideous. La 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 music is la 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 Do you think I caught it? Alright, we'll just play for over there. We'll just play without some some of this at the minute. I mean, let's let's be real honest here. It didn't even touch these bit these panels here, I feel. And also, why did why did GLaDOS end up here? This doesn't actually look much like it looks a bit like it, but it, it this isn't GLaDOS's chamber. 
Shouldn't have a massive staircase there. Bring the sound back. Good call. Thanks, Conklin, because I would have probably forgotten that. Let's be honest. It's a real shame that they couldn't do any sort of like voice lines for this. Those voice voice lines make for so much in a mod. What did I miss? I miss. Oh, yeah, that's right. The door just magically opens. Because. Yeah. So, was that meant to be happening right there and then? Because nothing happened. Does things magically change here? It's a recording. Go back. You if Alright, if, if it's a recording... Um... Didn't stuff break more than what's there? I'm, I'm confused. I love that they kind of got like a little puzzle maker thing here. Although <laughs> it's pretty poorly done. Find time machine back to January 20th, 2021. At twenty-three fifty-nine fifty-seven. Oh my god. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and I think that's where um, voice lines and voice acting comes into it a lot though, if I'm honest. I will give the credit for one thing, they put player clips on the railings. I can't get on the railings. Oh, well, I can there. Okay, I take it all back. I take it all back, but these texts are just horrible. They're awful. They're shiny. There's, I don't think they're shiny. There's just too much light on them. Jeez, where is all that light coming from? Whew. Petition for knock to make a Portal 2 mod. Hate to see it. You all want to see it. Trust me. Can you get trapped there? I wonder. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Couldn't you get trapped there if you turned off that... If you didn't unlock the door and you turned off the faith plate, isn't that a trapping situation? I wonder. Alright, so. Record. Duck. Jump over. Let's go. Jump over. Now. Ah, oh, okay. So, let's go do that. Point the cube through to there. Now I'm going to want to do that. I need to go back over to here. Duck down, jump up. Point that to there. And pop that one over here. 
Okay, do we even need the clone here for this? I don't think we do. Nope, we can just simply do that. And that. And yeah. I don't think it's going to give us too much trouble tonight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Doesn't tell me how many puzzles there are in total, I don't think. Okay, I need to remember this. Let's can't take the cubes through. We can drop them here. So that's right, we need to drop the cubes down one by one. That's right. So. Okay, right, you know what? I'm going to do it from here instead. Just so I know I'm picking them up in the right places. So. Pick up. And drop. Pick up. And drop. Pick up. And guess what? Drop. And yes, I realise I'm still recording, but hey. Alright, the game didn't crash, that's good. Has my liar lawyers contacted me yet? What? I think I agreed to that, Aaron. I was told on, on good faith that I could play it. One. Well, if you'd have ever got to the end of this mod properly on Smeltry, you'd have known that we'd travel forward in time to DA's release and we actually get to play at the end of this mod. But, you know, if you'd have only just solved that last puzzle. This kind of room just feels a bit pointless, if I'm honest, because it's just... I don't know why there has to be three cubes. Um, I think they could have got the same effect with one or two cubes, to be fair. But hey ho, hey ho. <laughs> I thought the air was straight. <gasps> well, clearly you didn't solve it right if you didn't get to play DA. I'm just, just, just making a point. Just making a point. Yeah, the art style is really nice in this one. Oh, it's this one. This one. Okay. At least we have like a semi-fast travel between the, the two sides that we need. Might help if we go push the button first though. Yeah, maybe you didn't get the good ending where you didn't go for, sorry, you didn't go far enough in time. You must have got the bad ending. That's all I'm gonna say, you know. Okay. So which uh which laser field was we looking at? Is there seriously no music in this mod? Huh. through here. We take it off you. 
and replace it. Yeah. What else do I need to do? I don't know. I don't know right now. Maybe we need to do more stuff. But uh, I need to go and put the cube back. I think we took the cube from there. I hope we took the cube from there. Well, if it's anything like the edging, if it's anything like the edging, Aaron, then it's probably a case that they decided to um, stretch it out. Where does that laser come from? The laser comes from there. All right, you know what? For devils to play devil's ad advocate and speed things up here, I'm going to record both segments here in one. So please be patient. All right, pick up. Up. Pass. Portal. Portal. This way. Take. Place. Wait for a second or two. Should be enough time, right? Take the cube. Takes it back off me. Back over here. Pick up the cube. Place the cube. Here? And that should be it. You think I just fizzled it? How did I just fizzle the cube? Do you think I put the cube too low? Let's find out. Alright, well that one didn't fizzle. <laughs> I never even thought about that fizzle if I'm honest, so... No! <laughs> okay, well... At least we don't have to do half of it again. I think if I... I think if I'd have like been a bit quicker, I could have potentially stopped that from fizzling, but... So good. We'll keep it nice and high this time. I'll just be more impressed if I can actually pull this off as, with regards to um, if I could point the laser at this without having a cube I'd be pretty impressed with that Not owes as a, rogue, a stream of Rogan maps uh, unfortunately though unfortunately though I've played all the Rogan maps and I have previously streamed them. And it's not something I plan on doing again. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. <laughs> I had it for a, a split second. Hey, at least the laser field turns off so I don't have to walk around for a 100th time. 
Maybe two streams. Dark Rose and Klaus Sector 5 Ops Champ Workshop Maps. Hey Fumbers, what's going on? Hope you're well. Welcome along to the stream. Alright, so this this is where I started to have like a kind of an issue with this mod. And the reason for that is it's never explained to you anywhere at all that these edgeless safety cubes in this mod are magnetized and they stick to the walls and the ceilings. And when I first played this, it took me an absolute age because I was just, I, was, I didn't even try to do it because I was thinking, well, edgeless safety cubes don't just stay on ceilings. So, yeah, I was a little bit peed off about that, I'll be honest. Didn't sit too well with me. A way to extend playtime. You know what, Aaron? I think you're right. I think you are right. Why did that just sound like a cube dropper opening? From old aperture, that was weird. Um. Did, 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 I, did I miss a button? Did, did I miss something here? I missed this button. Does that... Hold on. Hold on. Does that... Does that button open both doors? I don't know why I need to send on this, to be fair. Um, all right. Did, did I break something? I guess that just stays open until you do a thing with a thing. All right, so didn't see that hidden button, that's for sure. Let's uh, crouch down and jump up and jump up some more and hit that button. I mean that's just wrong on so many so many levels. It's the naughty sound. Oh no. Don't hit me with the naughty sound. I mean what's what's even going on with these ant lines? I mean uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not good. Alright, so, do that, play it back, do that, play it back, see, again, I'm kind of confused as to why that does that. Is that is that all Okay. Don't don't question it, no. Just just don't question it. It's fine. Let me guess I didn't stun this bot for long enough. Oh I did. Excellent, huzzah. Uh can't get out though. 
Where's my release button? Don't think, just consume! So, hold on, let me think. Release button is the quit. Alt F4. Job done. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. What? You're saying I wasn't recording on this button? How dare you say such things? I guess I can't release myself then with the... Which is preventing that? I mean, you know, signage would be nice. So I actually know what's doing what. I don't, I don't know that I did break it, I think because... the laser field while I'm on the button. Which one from the No, I don't think I knocked I don't think I messed it up. That would only be one criteria, though. I also need to get the edge of safety cube on the other side. Uh, just to just to backtrack a minute, my f my theory is I don't think that button appears when you've got. Yeah, the button doesn't appear when you've got um... the button doesn't appear when you've got the edge of safety cube in that room. That's what I was trying to get to. Alright, so we open that. I can walk through there. Press that. And then I can put this up to the top. Like so. Stand on here. Which does that for me. And that's how we start everything off, I think. Just try it. Okay. In Fumbly We Trust. Um. Um. <laughs> I, uh, what? What? Excuse me? I... Excuse me? So... <laughs> I'm confused. I'm so confused. Because every other instance, right, where like the clone is behind something they normally wouldn't be able to pass through, they would just walk straight through it. No? Alright, Fumbly, what was uh, what was it you wanted me to do again? Sorry. Stand on the floor button and connect to the laser field. Um, okay then. <laughs> I 
Jeez. What, what's what was even the point? What's even the point of the, like the the monster box there, just to annoy the player, like constantly while they're they're trying to be in there, realizing finally figuring out that you know the cubes stick to the ceilings and everything. Mhm. Mm Sorry, I I I could do that with a mouthful of cherry pop. Um, yeah, I'll I'll showcase that. I'll showcase that compound just for you. Don't worry. Alright, this one. Oh, it's this one. This is just god awful, this one. Right, so go around here. Fizzlers are used way too much in this mod, I, th I think. I feel. Hold on, don't the l Fizzlers turn off, don't they? Why is Monster Box a new term? Monster Box isn't a new term. That's the proper name for them, no? I don't know why I'm trying to do this here because I can't walk through a portal there, so it's going to be zero point in doing this. I think I should have pressed the button first. I think I should use the clone to press the button. That would make more sense. Well, then the sun on here might actually be better as well. Okay. Oh, you tard. Alright, that was dumb. That was dumb. That was sensationally dumb. Conclan. Something. Third time lucky, right? Third time lucky. Ding, 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 ding. Crash counter. Increment, please. <laughs> Jeez. You see, no wonder no wonder you never finished this. Uh, no wonder you had difficulty with the mod. Uh, I smelled... Oh, did I get a new game? I did, didn't I? Fuck. FMV doesn't even stop. Every time you think you're good at getting good at the game, the game just crashes on you. Oh, what was she looking at again? Was she talking about this one here? I think he was, wasn't he? Yeah, I see what you're getting at. Alright, so I'm going to stand here this time with the clone. Oh, 
I thought was going to crash right again, straight away again. There. Then we wait. The cube had a bit of a quiver on. Yeah, the game is very prone to crashing. Very prone. <laughs> Did I not put the cube down? <sighs> wow. Rip. I could have sworn I put the cube down, but... Hi-ho! I know, I'm just the guy who plays the game. Nice day today. Nice day. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm not happy about. I had no jump on my. Uh, had no jump on my mouse wheel. It's a nice day today, Colin Clan. Nice day. It's a, it was a pleasant 21 degrees C. It was quite pleasant today. What's with a What? What? <laughs> hold on. Oh, hold on a minute. I gotta do that again. I gotta do that again. Hold on. Daniel, well, and what's going on, buddy? Welcome along to stream. Hope you're well. Just seriously, I don't know if this happens all the time in Portal. Maybe it does, and maybe I've just never noticed it before. But just, just watch the legs here. Oh, she didn't do that. What? Oh, hold on. Okay, I, I feel dumb. That really made me chuckle, but I think it was more because I just. Um, I think it was more because I was holding forward, so she was trying to walk in the air. I just found that really amusing. Her like little legs like dangling along as I'm like falling down. Anyway. Um Okay, so what I need to do, just 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 temporarily, right? Okay, what we need to do is um let me do this for a second. Okay. Um <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Had a, had, a, had a bit of a cough there. And um, we're back. Yeah, um, yeah. so, yeah. Um, we did that bit of the puzzle. Now we're going to go up to here. And um, let's see what we can do. Because we're not cheating. We're not cheating. We don't cheat in this game. Ever. Um, okay, so... I think, if I remember rightly, there is a portal so I can see there. And then we go down here, we go up here. We press the button. We grab the cube. We put that there. And hey, it, it, it was like magic. Didn't we do that well? Am I sick? I don't, I don't know. I, I might be coming down with a bit of a cough, Conklin, you know. Um, now I think I need to do that again. I need to strafe across onto one of them ledges, I think, if I remember. There we go. 
go. And then we record ourselves on here. And uh, we move on with the puzzle. There we go. Some cheater artists. <laughs> Do I work for Valve? Absolutely not. Um, Alright, so... This is... Um, this is a technique called... Um, we, we can... <laughs> this, is, this is a technique called... Um, fizzlers don't count, right? And the way this technique works... Is we do this... And then we do this... And then we kind of do this. And then we stand on the other side of the fizzler like this. And then we 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 watch what happens. I'm sure that's how you do it. Uh, well, it would have been if she hadn't dropped it. Is that not how you do it? I thought that was how you did that. Is that not? Really? Huh. Oh, I was half right then. So yeah, here you go. Take a cube. But then, I don't even need to do it, but just for argument's sake. Let's um, do it anyway. Just to demonstrate... There we go. Cube fruit fizzler. Job done. Um, right, so... Yeah, I mean... It's, it's, it's not particularly difficult what we need to do here. Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, I put it on the wrong thing, but, uh, yeah, I don't really get the point of this puzzle. Because even with, um, yeah, that's it. That is it. It's such a simple puzzle. And, like Fumbly said, I mean, the, the only reason, the only reason, like, you need the portal surface in the fir first place is because they put this fizzler here along the floor which stops you from just doing this but then like walking through and pressing the button and then grabbing the cube but hold on do i even need to i don't even hold on hold on hold on i don't even think i need the clone here so wait a second wait a second Let's let's go back a minute. Here's why we don't need the clone. Because we could just do that if I was uh, better at holding the cube the other side of the fizzler, but yeah. Yeah, it can be done. It can be done. So the whole mod is based around, you know, working cooperatively. Easy for me to say. I kind of feel like they've... That fizzler's bigger than normal, though. There we go. And then we just do this. So yeah, portal surfaces and the clone are both not required on this puzzle. And it is just a walking around, pushing buttons puzzle. Everybody loves those, right? <laughs> yeah. Knock starts to fail and instantly looks for excuses. It's the knock way. 
Alright, we got this one. Oh, it's this one. Gotta remember how everything works on this one. Okay, that's right. So, I press the button, I fire portals across and across, and then... Isn't that right? swap Take that one off me. We do something like that. I'm sure we do. But do I not need to do something else first? Possibly. Oh, hold on. I'm being completely stupid here. I just walk through the freaking thing with the clone. Like a what a doofus. That was just, why on earth did I try and do that? That was just ridiculous. Alright. So much easier if I just try and do this. And then this. And then I can walk to the exits. Meanwhile, in the Hall of Justice, thank you. I'm a doofus. Well, I have to say, this was fun, and the story made complete and utter sense. To be fair, I don't actually remember it being that short. I knew it was short, I don't remember it being that short. Conklin, are you asking me stuff? I do apologise. So, this is the problem with Streamlabs chatbot, not to make excuses or anything, but Streamlabs chatbot just puts everything in one kind of thing. So, I also have to have my um, normal Twitch chat open as well, but if I click on my Streamlabs chatbot, which I have done it seems, it then puts that to the back. Um... So yeah, I apologize for everybody who has redeemed stuff. Let me open up my um let me open up my moderator settings because there is um there is like a request queue. Aaron, if you go into your mod settings, Conclan, you can do it as well. Um if you go into the mod settings, there's a task which you can review uh request queue and it will tell you everything that's been that's pending. Um, and it allows you guys to kind of like mark off something. Um, so. That was rude. Pardon me. Um, what is your favourite? Uh, I think we've done that one from money. Yeah, we did that one. Reject that. Reject that. Conclan, I'll ask you something. Um, 
You get a Twitch bounce yet? <laughs> Conclan. What's your real name? Conclan says, how's today? Today is good. Are you sick? Possibly. Do I work for Valve? No. How many more times do you think I could ask you anything? Um, I think you could ask me another... <sighs> I don't even know how many points it costs. How many points did it cost to send that? Is it a thousand? Three thousand? I'm so I'm still new to all these channel point stuff. Ask you anything is a thousand, so I bet you could probably go for a good I say you could go for another good twenty to twenty five Conclan. Would 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 that be would would that be anywhere close? All right, so I'm going to have to set things up like this for the future. Yeah, I think you have that many. Anyway, back to the fantastic ending cutscene to tie up all of the uh, what? story. Why are you still here? You are free. Doesn't that just answer all our questions? Doesn't it just... <laughs> Oh, jeez. So you can kind of tell there was like minimal people on this, I guess in the special thanks to the playtesters. Mod by one person. Thanks to everybody that playtested. Um, and what better way to end the mod than to, to crash your game? There you go. There you go indeed. All right, guys. So since we've um, since we're like done ridiculously early on this um, demo launch options, uh, I don't even, I don't think I've got Portal One installed at the minute. Um, so no, I wouldn't be able to do that at the minute. But, uh, I guess. All right. So basically, guys, um, tell me. Uh, or, or anything that I kind of didn't see. Let's let's kind of like explore this mod a little bit more. Um, formerly, did you say there was a big glaring um, uh, portal sign or something? Not make some map. Is it map final? I'm sure Fumbly said something. Giant misaligned portal image on that one surface. All right. Let's take a look at this. That's not the one. So it must be eight. Looks like Chamber Five isn't the original Chamber Five as well. They did kind of like a. Uh, it looks like they did like an update to it as well. And my binds. Oh my goodness! What? How did I not see that? <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That, that's beautiful. <laughs> uh, as, as with a lot of things, though, I think with this, um, I mean, look at this ant line here. Look at that ant line. That's just a thing of beauty. If you're going to have a fizzler running above the element, at least, like, have the ant line coming down onto this wall. Yeah? Seriously, I think most of the most of the stuff, which kind of I kind of like, that kind of screams out what uh, Conclan was saying before about um, I mean these these fizzlers don't even make sense. D don't doesn't there need to be a um, yeah, I was just about to say export. I got sidetracked on this. On this though, Should, doesn't there need to be a a fizzler arm thing on both sides for it to work? How are all these fizzlers working? Look at the ceiling. Also. Yeah, where's the... Uh, I think it's even worse than an export, to be fair. Or they've just changed up the textures because 
Even I know that should be black. That should be black behind there. They've not cut that out at all. That is just horrendous. That is awful. Texture is cut close to the portal surface. Yep, yep. There we go. Misaligned textures. How do you even do that, though? Because, I mean... So, this whole section... What? This doesn't make sense. So, I think that kind of... I mean, look at that. That there. It kind of shows that... Whether it's good map making practice or not, the the, the very little the, the little things that I have done in Hammer, I always kind of build my geometries uh, and these sort of things on um, as a, as a rule of thumb by one twenty eight one twenty eight square kind of cube not cubes but like square. But clearly we can see here even the the tech. I mean I, I was going to say the textures are probably misaligned, but this one is fine. You have that one that's fine, and then all of a sudden, this whole thing here clearly isn't 128 units, and that throws the rest of everything else out. I don't even know what they're doing here. Because if that's 128, but that isn't, then they've stretched or shrunk the textures or something. Huh. Because I don't think if you took that bit there and that bit there and mash them together that's not a full um 32 by 32 square man that ceiling is really bad that ceiling is awful but then you look at this side look at this side this side is fine How? How have they managed that? In all seriousness, how have they managed that? All right, hold on, hold on. they done they must have just stretched the texture in one orientation aren't they surely man that looks awful though uh so Um, so this is the box over here, I guess. So wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a second. So rather than building the environments around the test chambers, They built a skybox and they're just reusing the same skybox through the little windows you can see through the test chambers. Oh. Is, is it even a skybox that they've made? And obviously, you look out here and you're just in somewhere in the skybox.
<laughs> well, I got an idea for a mod. I can make a really cool skybox. 10 out of 10. Alright, what was the... Um, what was the... Um, because I didn't really, I didn't really see see it. All right, family, no worries. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good uh, Friday. Almost into the weekend. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Was it this one? Yeah. So we got this one, All right? Um. Are we talk are we talking about the vertical? I, I see it now. I didn't see what I didn't know what we'd seen before, but I see it now. It's the vertical, isn't it? Because isn't this the break in the texture across here? Is that what we're saying about these laser grids? Wow. That's uh that's something. Oh yeah, I, I anticipate now that now that looking at that, it's going to be the same skybox all the way through every single one of these levels. It's just like a little window to um, see things out of at different points. Which I, I guess for a small kind of map maker is quite a clever thing to do. Because the windows are never in the same places, so you're always kind of seeing different aspects of the skybox. So um, it's a good way to kind of reuse those elements, I guess. But I mean, I think the texture's looking pretty good in this one, if I'm honest. Um, I'm not sure those textures would be there, would they? I suppose they would, because that was down. So yeah, I'll let them off. Just this once. Um. The antline crossing's not so hot though. Not a, not a fan of that. Check under the goo. That's a very thin layer of goo. What's that, like 32 units? Thirty-two units. Yeah. That's a very shallow goo pit. I would have at least done goo again. Not being, not that I'm a hammer expert or anything. I'd have at least done goo like a full 128 pixels uh, units. Sorry, not pixels units. But you know, like I say, I'm not a hammer expert. What's going on here? What's going on with this frame here? Look at these frames. Look! 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 Explosed no... Exposed? Exposed no draw. Conclan. Conclan. Sit down. T take a moment. Take a moment. Sit down. It's alright. We'll, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Exposed no draw there. You, it's, it's clear as day though. <laughs> I guess you just don't notice it when you're on the on here because of the angle. Look at that! It's the, oh my god! Just just look at the framework there. It's not even. 
not even like he did this. They've done the same thing on both sides. Ah, <sighs> oh dear. So that's sixteen. It was your brother who made this mod. Tell Rogan. Nice try. But. Oh my, my god. Look at. I know you're not meant to see these things. But seriously. They use that texture. Underneath the droppers. And then you go back to like one of the first maps. With that Borealis map, and look at what the texture they use for like the, the the sides. Look at the texture they make for the sides. Surely it's not an export thing though, Conclan, because these are custom models. Custom models with custom animations. Surely they're not. I mean, this whole thing doesn't kind of seem to me to fit in this gap anyway. Okay. I see what you mean. Some terrible hammer work post export. I tell you what I've just noticed as well, because this these textures are so bright, there's no lighting, is there? There's no like aperture like natural aperture lighting as such. All the lighting seems to come from the white textures. Are, are these all like light panels? Is is that what the design was meant to be? Look at the wall close to the laser field. That looks odd for a start. They put the ant line on the join of the textures there. The texture's bigger. Yeah, I mean, normally you would, I think, normally wouldn't you seat that kind of like in the middle of that? So you'd actually have a bit of a gap either side. I mean, the, the thing really, it really irks me about the um, not having black behind them. Not taking the time just to like cut out, cut out the behinds for this and just put in the black dev, dev texture, kind of black texture in there to cover that up. This side? Or this side? I mean, why couldn't they have made this wall 32 units and then... What am I looking at? What am I looking at, fool? This wall? This wall? Which wall? I know not. I know. I not. I know not. 
I know not I know not what you ask, sir. This wall, this side of the fizzle, the laser field though, looks better than this one. The ant line kind of messes up the perception of what's going on here. It kind of makes that look like one big stretched out texture because they've put the ant line straight on that line and that line. So it kind of makes it look really weird. But anyway, we, we, we could sit here all night and, and look at things. Um, in summary, like I said, I think I do believe this is a better a better mod than um, uh, Aperture Tag for sure. Um, it's just a there was a lot of polishing that was needed. B the story was pretty much non-existent. Some voice lines wouldn't go amiss. Um, there are some glaring issues with the puzzles where you don't even need to use the mechanics, even some broken panel, uh, puzzles. Um, so all in all, although it's a good concept, it was just executed, in my opinion, really, really poorly, which is a real shame. But um, thankfully, our uh, fantastic um, Portal 2 community members have managed to come up with quite a few good maps um, to sort of make up for the deficit of this. So. Um, yeah, all in all, okay, but could have been a lot, lot better. Should try the, the older manifest of the mod? What do you mean? All in all, just another brick in the wall, as Conclan so nicely put it. I mean, an older build of the mod? Is there even an older build, build of the mod anywhere? Uh, you know what, Megas? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to bother because, um, you know, it's the, the series is more just about going through and playing playing the games. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to get too much drawn up on this. Um, I'd rather just sort of move on. And, um, yeah, away we go. So, tomorrow... Tomorrow, I don't know. We might be streaming. We might not. If we're streaming tomorrow, I think we'll probably go on to probably one of the best Portal mods, Portal 2 mods, and that is Portal Stories Mel. We will be playing through the advanced mode, how it was originally meant to be played. So um, if we're streaming tomorrow, which we probably should be, that will be tomorrow night's stream. Um, I know it's been short tonight, guys, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to take an early night-ish um, away from the streaming tonight and just sort of have a bit of chill time, which I don't normally um, get a lot of. But uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate your support. Until the next time, though, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Ta-ra.